Welcome to Tool Talk. This is where we will be doing a deep dive into the input tool. The input data tool is one of the backbones of Alteryx's designer platform. The input data tool is where you bring data into the workflow by selecting a file or connecting to a database. You can even use a SQL query. You have the ability to limit the number of records that you have coming in. You can read in and parse delimited files. You can use wildcards to pull in multiple files with a single input data tool. And you can even select which row to start importing the data on. Now, let's take a look at this tool in action. I'm going to pull the input data tool from my favorites, but it's also available in your in and out tool palette. When I pull this onto the canvas, we can take a look at our configuration. And in here, we can connect to a file or database. When I click the drop down, you'll see that we have five distinct sections of this new pop up window. The very first section that you'll see are your recent connections. This is where Alteryx will show you the 10 most recent connections that you've made. The next section down is for your saved connections. If you had any saved connections here, they would be displayed under your saved connections tab, and you can easily and quickly connect to those data sources. The third section down is for your files. And here we will find all of the supported file types from Alteryx. And you can see all of the files that you're used to working with every day including your CSV files, Excel files, zipped files, and even spatial data files are all included here. You also have the ability to navigate to the selected file by just select file, or you can drag and drop it from your file folder right into Alteryx. The next section is our data sources. You'll see the most frequently used data sources in Alteryx, which are your Oracle and Microsoft SQL Server. Those connections are right at the top. Down below that section, you'll see all of the different database sources. These are all of the sources that are native to Alteryx that you can connect with just this input tool. And as you see, when you scroll through this list, there's a wide variety of database types, including both your cloud and on-premises stored databases. And the last connection that we have here on our data connections tab is for our server. If your company has a server, this is where your connection will appear once you make that connection to the server. So let's get started by taking a look at how this works. And we're just going to connect to a file. I'm going to select the file. And from my data folder, I am going to select my input one file and then hit open. Now, as I pressed open, you saw that that input com data configuration window changed. The options that you're going to have in your configuration window vary based on the database type or the file type you're connecting to. When I hit refresh, I can see a preview of my data, and it does show you a preview of the first 100 records. And now I have this CSV file all ready to start using in my workflow. If I wanted to bring in multiple CSV files with just this one input tool, I could do that. Alteryx gives us the ability to use wildcard inputs. I'm going to pull another input data tool onto my canvas. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and connect to that same folder that I was in with my input one CSV file. Now, when we navigate to that folder, we saw that we have multiple CSV files in that folder. And not all of them though, have the same schema. So I have four different CSV files available in my folder. I'm first going to show you what happens when I try to bring in all of my CSV files. So I'm going to connect to that folder using my recent connections. And for my wildcard, I'm going to replace my file name with a star. The star is what's used in Alteryx as a wildcard. And now let me run this. Now, when I run this, we can see that when I'm looking at my results window down here at the bottom, that I have some error messages. It read in my first CSV file in that input with the wildcard, but it skipped these next three right here. And the reason why it skipped those is because they had a different schema. The, warning message even tells you that there is a different number of fields in, than the first file in these three files that followed. Now, if I go back to my wildcard and I change this to just pull in the files that start with the word input, I can add an input before the star. And now this will pull in all three files that contain the word input within my data folder. Let me go ahead and run. And the great thing about this is that it unions all of that data together. We can now see that within the output side of my input data tool, that all of my files have been unioned together. If I wanted to know specifically which data came from which file, I can always output the file name as a field. And that can be used later on in the workflow if it has useful information in that field. And here we can see that we have my files from input one, input two, and input three. All three of those files are unioned together just by using one input tool.